Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Happy New Year and welcome to 2024. This is the launch of my annual make-along, my first make-along for this year. So, the make-along is open worldwide. You must be over 18 years of age and you must follow some of the basic requirements in the rules to be eligible to enter. This make-along will run for six months as per previous years. So the rules and the terms and conditions will be in the description below. Make sure you read them carefully before you start entering and that you fully understand. So, Shutterbug AU, what's it all about? Well, I like to take lots of photos, not necessarily just when I'm on holiday, whatever takes my fancy and I have absolutely heaps and I am going to showcase with you on the first of each month and the 15th day of each month two photos a photo each time a photo on the first and a photo on the 15th for the next six months the photo will have a yarn palette next to it which has been generated by crochet studio an app I put the photo into and that will be the yarn palette for the first two weeks, the second two weeks, until we finish a project. Your project can be anything you wish to make. My project, as I stated before in the premiere of my um, make-along before the end of the year, is going to be the Bumpy Cuddle Bug by Hobie. It's a free pattern on Hobie. The link will be in the description below if you wish to join me. I've also decided, because I need to make some um, lap gans for crochet for cancer, I'm going to do a lap gan as well. So, entirely up to you. Whatever you want to make, whether you want to make a different amigurumi every week, a lap gan, a shawl, a poncho, totally up to you. And you are welcome to make the bumpy cuddle bug, which is going to be my shadow bug. I think he'll be pretty cute and have lots of colours when we finish. So the photo I'll demonstrate will have the colour palette and your minimum requirement is to use two colours from that colour palette. You can use more if you wish but you must use two colours. Number of rows entirely up to you. You could do one row, two rows, 15 rows, entirely up to what your project requires and how you can balance your project out. So don't forget, check out the rules and conditions. Each month there will be, as per usual, a participant prize draw on the first of each month. And you must post your photos to the Facebook group with hashtag ShutterbugAU or on Instagram with ShutterbugAU. And if you don't do socials, you're welcome to email them to me. You're also welcome to email me any special photos you give me permission to put into Crochet Studio and come up with a palette and use them in future months in our make-along. It would be awesome to have other photos. I do have a lot, but it's entirely up to you. But it would be great to have some subscribers participate with our photos. So don't forget, email address is in the description below. Send me your photos and give me permission to use them. So, Shutterbug AU, 1st of January here in Australia. Yes, we are a little bit ahead of you. And I'm going to launch with the first picture. Well, the, 2023, we went on holiday to the UK, Scotland, the Orkneys. And this is where I got the idea. So I thought it was appropriate I start with a photo from that trip. Not all my photos will be from this year. Some will be from way back when. Some will be from the holidays. Some may be just something I caught when walking around. But I do like to take photos. So do you want to see the first photo? Well, it's going to be a photo of John O'Groats. From John O'Groats. I'll give you a bit of information. Then I'll show you the photo. John O'Groats is a village in the far north um, Scotland. It's popular with tourists as one of the end of the longest distances between two inhabitable distances on the British uh, mainland, with Land's End being at one end and John O'Groats at the other. And yes, I've been to Land's End. 
it's 876 miles or 1,410 kilometres apart. Land's End is um, in Cornwall. The settlement takes its name from Jean de Groot, a 15th century Dutchman who um, once plied a ferry between the mainland and the Orkney Islands. And that's why we were there. We stayed overnight in Wick. We went to have a look at John O'Groats and we were leaving from Gills Bay, another place, to go to the Orkneys. In 2007, its population was at 300 and there'd be no more reviews on that because I don't think its habitable population has grown beyond that. The people are known as Groaters and we took the Wick Road by John O'Groats. Now, the reason I was interested is one of my bosses went many years ago and when he was there, there was only a hotel. And he said, it was really interesting in the middle of nowhere, just this hotel. Well, it has definitely changed and developed. And that's what this photo is about. So what I will do is show you the photo on my laptop. At the end of the video, there'll be a still photo so you can check it out or save it. For your make along i hope you're going to join me here we go i'll just log into my laptop now this photo i was captured by the buildings that are here i hope it doesn't there's our photo with our color palette i do actually have a photo of me standing in front of them but i thought this would make it clearer this is luxury accommodation at john O'Groats. It is just, when you, the windows have no curtains, it is just, they are absolutely awesome inside. They have a magnificent view, but I did wonder in winter what weather conditions would be like, because they're right on the coastline at John O'Groats. So as you can see, there's browns, yellowy greens, blues, lighter blues. Those other colors, See, this one here isn't showing very well on the, on the laptop. It's like a really pale green. And this one's a very pale blue. But don't forget, there'll be a photo at the end for you to check out and pick your colours from this palette. Remember, you only need two to be eligible to enter. So there you have it. Our first make-along photo in Shutterbug AU. Let me know in the comments below what you plan to make. If you're going to join me and make the bumpy cuddle buck, I think it'll be pretty cute. And yes, whether you're doing a lap gan and what were your favourite colours in this week's palette. Now don't forget, I'll be back on the 15th with a totally different photo and different colour palettes. Hopefully it's something that blends, but who knows? I'm going to go through all my photos from years ago and pick another photo unless someone sends me one that is really interesting and gives me permission to use it so guys make sure you remember to check out the rules don't forget to hashtag your photos if you put them on instagram don't forget the au it makes it really easy to find me for me to find you and yes get posting get crafting make sure you have some crafty fun in 2024 with the make-along hashtag Shutterbug AU. Bye for now.